Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, show all these, we are back in the world of KMC1, um, where I actually got a really interesting request where somebody wants me to, use, to do a challenge run with the most broken, with one of the most broken people in the game, Giant Silva. I guess someone wants to see some Giant Silva destruction, as in the world of Fire Pro, he wouldn't appear until Fire Pro Z in returns. What are the odds that the YouTuber request is actually from Giant Silva? I don't know. I don't know if that man knows what YouTube is. Oh, He's I from Brazil, he, he probably does. Oh, he knows. Alright, but, but I'm not alone here. With me is the crew of... Hey, I'm Pure Power. I'm a cool guy and all that. See you soon. Yo! It, yo, it, yo, it is me. It is me, Zach. Zach George, you, you know, you know my stick by now. Yada yada yada. Oh, by the way, for those of you that didn't see it, I beat Ricky Choshu. <laughs> I like to watch Damian Maya fights in Fire Pro Wrestling. AKA that is Voodoo. Now behold, the Team 2000's <laughs> Giant Silva. Look at him. What do That's you guys feel? What do you guys feel when you see this man? Look at this, look at, look at this imposing figure. My dimples tingle in fear. I feel enlightenment. I, I feel strength. <laughs> to, to, quote that, to quote that one co comedian slash YouTuber meme thing, that's a huge bitch. All right. And to start things off, we're going to go into the freelance world. We're going to have Giant Silva take on Don Fry. Ooh, spicy, spicy. MMA versus MMA or wrestling? Wrestling. Okay, okay then no, it's a curb is, stop. Well, remember, this is Don Fry. Well, well, this, well, remember, Don Fry, even in this version, is still has MMA moves. Yeah, but what can an MMA guy do against Giant Silva or Giant Singh in this game? I don't know. We'll find out. So you saw what happened. You saw when it went for the MMA tackles. The Giants just know so that man. Look, man. You they have to they, look, man. We had they, we had we had Don Fry taking on Giants. Okay. Here comes Don Fry. Don Fry. As we oh, by the way. over as we. Bought out the Dipper Ariake from Pro Wrestling Noah. I was like, "Fuck you, Noah. We're using your building, whether you like it or not." I, I was no, I was gracious enough to let you rent my motherfucking building, bitch. Yeah, eighty percent of all ticket sales go straight to Zach for this show. Oh, by the way, JM, I've been uh, yeah. enjoying your Bloodsport series. Wait, what happened, Voodoo? I've been enjoying your uh, your blood sports series, the Toshimi oh. Minami one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you're, yeah, your 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 boy Voodoo is pretty well hooked on Toshimi Minami's blood sports. If you know of any similar feds that are on YouTube that I can check out, please do let me know. Well, check out Archie's uh, Amazon Coliseum show. Where I already Coliseum. did. I already watched. I already watched the, one of the one of the videos. It was like 45 minutes long, and I enjoyed all of it. Yeah, you should also read his series on Amazon's Coliseum. It's really good. I'll check it out if I get the time. All right, here goes Giant Silva. We're ready hey, for but Giant you mind Silva. Mind, you send, mind if you send me that save file? Uh, which save file? Fucking Coliseum where? Because I'm having a hard time trying to merge the two games. The reason why I was able to get this to work was because not only did, you, did I need the merged files, I also, someone also had to upload a quick save to get past the menu. Oh, like a save state. Yeah. So I would have to give you the save state, Rasta. Uh, 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 that's so much work, but I'll do it. MMA's Magnum P.I. All you gotta do, do is just put the save state in the, uh, in your save state folder. Alright, I will. Lo load that bitch as, like, state zero or whatever, and you're good. <laughs> that last guy. <laughs> 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 
Wonderful. All right, let's see. How many people can defeat Giant Silver? How many people will Giant Silver defeat? At this point, the only thing Silver has to feel is, 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 the, is the magnificent unpredictability of the critical. The, the, the last time we did one of these challenges, the person in question went undefeated. And who was that? Corellin. No surprise there. Corellin is fucking broken. I mean, yeah, of course. Okay. What, what, what guy, what guy who carries a fridge would not be broken in a video game? <laughs> that being said, I was simming fire for earlier, and Victor Zangi took the fight to him. He still lost, but he did take the fight to him. What Victor Zangiev? Uh, what save file are you using? What, uh, that D DJ KMs? Because he's the one who has Victor Zangiev. Uh. I, I made my own custom save file with a bunch of like MMA guys and like, uh, uh, how do I put this? Wrestlers with a, a, a fighting aesthetic. So guys like Heidenreich with the MMA glove and Solo Sokoa with the fighting on the streets gimmick and shit of that nature. It's just a hodgepodge of edits I'm using for World. But Don Fai got went for the grab first, yet he still got grabbed. What is this? Oh, uh, there was also, I also did a. And he drops oh. the big leg. He's using my finish, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I also did uh, Alexander Corellin versus Naoyo Gawa. That was fun. Now he needs to do the ultimate match. He needs to do Naoyo Gawa. He needs to do uh, Alexander He keeps Corellin countering everything. He keeps... Wait, wait, what jam? Volkan versus Alexander Corellin. Oh, yeah. I need to grab Volkan. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> Giant Silva, he's so powerful. Yeah, I, I can tell he's got dog shit stamina, though. This man, Inoki, what, could have been almost tempted to give him the IWGP world title with how powerful he is. That oh could have been low-key cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> can you imagine, of course, this man, can you, do you think this man, Inoki, was tempted to give this man, this him or Giant Singh, the IWGP world title? That'd be bad. Yeah, that's uh, just, just no. The furthest Silva should ever have gone if he ever was going to go far is the IWGP tag title. And he should have holded up with at least Singh or Masahiro Chono. Yeah, because those are the two guys he hung out with the most. Or the very mysterious figure, Rasta's boy, Gokudo. Oh, hell no. <sighs> now, Gokudo was a jobber. I thought you were going to say Bob Buchanan, you know. He was basically, he, Gokudo was basically the Vincent of Team 2000. Bro, why is that so accurate? I hate how accurate that is. Don Fry's kicking out of those pins awfully fast. Yeah, because he's oh, got somewhere God. to beat tonight. Then... Look, man, Don okay, Fry... Okay, now he's starting to act a bit more normal. Look, man, Don Fry needs to get on that Tatsumi Fujinami Never Give Up Tour. Oh, shit. Oh, spear. Oh! Hey, JM, you mean the Tatsumi Fujinami Never Give Up Tour? Yo, no lie, I want to do a Never Give Up Tour show. At oh, some really? point in time. Yeah, we do our own version of the Tatsubi Fujinami Never Give Up Tour. No, you gotta do the voice, Jay. I mean, you gotta do the voice. Well, well, you like can do the, well, barely do the, made a dent in the guy. Oh, got a splash! Oh. Of course you do, because it took... Spear. It took, it took like, what? Oh. It took, it takes a burning hammer to take these guys down in this game. No! Oh, oh no, he splashed The big boy him. splash, and it's over. He killed, he uh, killed him. Uh-huh. Uh it here. took eight minutes. That's all it took. Eight minutes, not even to ten seconds. That's all it took for Giant Silver to beat Don Fry. All right, I think I know who I want to see face Silva. All right, who do you got? It's got to be someone that Silva never expects in a million, billion, trillion years. All right. It's going to be a Pancrase guy. Interesting. Okay. He is going to face a former Triple Crown heavyweight champion, Masakatsu Funaki. 
All right, now I gotta find out where is he. Do you want He's his still birth year? Lose. Do you want his birth year? That way you can look through the birth date to get, make it easier. Uh, yeah, what is it? Wait a second, Mas Masakasu Funaki has to be at the top, right? March 13th, 1969. All right, that's it. Let's see if we can so get we're a... gonna go at his primes. Yeah, let's see what we have for the best costume. Uh, does he, does you can find this legend's costume? costume. Yeah, we got it. There we go. Yeah. There's one. There, that's perfect. Hard right. to believe Funaki actually has an acting career. I'm surprised that Nosawa was didn't give this man the the GHC World Title. He's of the legal age to hold the GHC World Title. Him doing the Nationals far better. There he comes. Interesting that you chose a hand crease fighter for this. Well, I mean, there's no pride fighters in the game. Well, oh, not that, a, well, not in the same way. That's that's a that's a very me pick, course. By the way, that's a very me pick. I think I know who I might want to see fight Giant uh -huh. Soul if he's in the game. All right, who? Kazunari Murakami. <laughs> nah, he's not in this. Ah, oh. he wasn't in New Japan yet at this time. Ah, well, stuck a fertilizer! For whatever he was UFO works. at this point, wasn't he? But UFO, it's just Ogawa. Yeah, yeah UFO was just Ogawa. UFO would have been like Nogawa, o Naoya Ogawa, Tiger Mask 4. Tiger Mask 4 did do some stuff in UFO. Oh, my man, I might as well grab some management on Fry and Giant Silva. <laughs> and Volcon. <laughs> I shouldn't be this this exhausted already. Oh, well, I woke up about. If you four need to yawn, ago. mute yourself and all that. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. you know how yawns are; they're contagious. All right. I thought that was only physically. Hey guys, I'll be yeah. No, no, I I don't think you understand the the whole thing with the yawn. You hear a yawn, you imagine the yawn. All right. Hey guys, I'll be right back. All right. Okay. I mean, I woke up only two hours ago. Right. Wondering. Uh, if, if Wait, what were you doing to uh, be yeah. uh, asleep for most of the day? I have a really messy yeah. sleep schedule. Like, I'll stay up to like 6 a.m. or 7, 8, 8, 9 a.m. Uh, yeah, At, you work though, right? Not really. Unless you kind of like doing working out work. Uh, well, I mean, you're working your body. That's, that's better than this one uh, fucking asshole I know. Where he's like, I gotta sleep 18 hours a day. Okay, what do you do for a job? I don't have a job. Okay, what do you do for work around the house? I don't clean the house. Why do you exist? You're literally a parasite at that point. Oh my god, that's a nice way of saying it. I think I know a proper term for people like that. Voodoo, are you ready to hear this term? What? I don't think you're ready for it. What? From now on, people like that, like extreme man children, they must forever be renamed to poopy baby bitches. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! Funaki, Funaki, he almost tried to lock in something on uh, on on Silva. Curse yeah, Silva was just swatting him. Of course, may, 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 may have found the blueprint here. He made a crack the code. Yeah, uh, MMA, MMA moves don't work against the giants. They're actually. The why most so, overpowered in this why game. So, why are you so big? Because well, you see, Rasta, Rasta was uh, having a hard life. You see, well, as, all for Christmas, he wanted a Mercedes. His parents, they gave him a Nissan. No, I'm making a joke, don't worry. I want a Dodge car. Want a Rasta, why, Rasta, is he? Do you, do you, and he also works at a shoe store. Rasta, do you need a ride <laughs> on the Lex Express? <laughs> I swear to God, if I swear to God, do if Giants of a wins this match, we're gonna have a problem here. We're gonna. Do you? Do you need a hero? Oh, oh. Oh my God! I swear to God. I swear. 
<laughs> Ross says he's singing, the, he's humming the, uh, he's, uh, he's humming the Lex Luger theme. He's like, what does it take to be a hero? Well, the step, the first step is to have guts. The second step is to have a giant bar of chocolate. You know what's funny? That song, that version of Lex Luger, Luger is only in SVR09. Wow. Uh, take down. Oh, he almost took the leg. Wait, is MMA really ineffective against giants in this game? Yes. It's weird, because if you just aim for limbs on giant people, they crumble down easy. I mean, yeah, we saw what Akira go. Maeda did to Andre. Because I know in, like, Fire Pro, it's one of the more... Nah, no, because no, no. even even the giants in this game are more of a power than Andre the Giant oh, and, wait, wait, wait. and King no, of Coliseum too. Well, you gotta remember that Masakai Tsubinaki hasn't done a lot of damage to Giant Silver yet. Remember, you gotta soften them up before you go for the MMA moves. The no, MMA no, in Fire Pro, MMA is reps. a great way to dissect a giant. Uh huh. Or as Big Show would say, a giantess. Why do I feel like the KOC games are just 3D Fire Pro? They are. Because they are. Just with different I mean, games. that was like the main selling point. Yeah, that's what they are. They're Fire Pro games, but licensed. Oh, 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 he almost had him, but Silva was able to stop it. Oh, Moscow's Funaki, he's believing in himself. Oh no, someone stop him. He's using a tiny pinch of magic. Oh wait, never mind. All his dreams oh, okay. are Crisis averted. Oh, another hard shot. Oh, another hard shote. And Silva's like, get out of here with that. I hit you with this lariat. Man, get that weak shit out of here. I'll show you how it's really done. Look at this. The world's most powerful suplex. I'll tap you out in the Pride Fighting Championships. Now look what I could do. I'm just going to stand here menacingly and then chop you down. Now eat the pin. Oh, oh that was a close oh, one. Oh my god. Oh, it's not even minutes. nine minutes. Oh. I hate I hate these two giants. I hate it goes to cover again. No, not even a one count. He, he blocked that slap. Oh my god. Oh no, he's gonna throw him. Over oh. there. Oh Chili Gary's here, welcome. Rope break! Hey Gary. Just now rope break, are you kidding me? Oh, uh, Oh, he's dizzy. Oh, no. Oh. And oh, he's got to die after that. It's a giant silver choke slam. And, and he unfortunately won. Ladies and gentlemen, and Chris has died again. By the way, you guys, I'm doing all right, but much like Joseph, much like Joseph, I too am dealing with the loss of Pauline. Understandable. This is uh. What I can, I'm bad at talking right now. Um, like I said with JMI, offer condolences, Gary. Right, Thanks, so, dude. Okay, so maybe we might need some help from Brazilian top team. Now, one of these guys is either Mario Sperry or Big Knock. Mm, I think that's probably. I think the one, the third is probably Big Knock because of all the name, because of all the. All right, there, there, there's Big Knock. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if he can win this. Let's see if Minotaur Nogera, okay? Let's see if Minotaur Nogera can defeat Giant Silva and end his <laughs> destruction tour. Yeah, I mean, this. <laughs> the Battle of Brazil right here.
Oh, wait, here we go. The, at the Nippon Budokan. Not different Ariake. Uh, oh, okay. It's we're a budget Budokan. Yeah, we're in Pro Wrestling Noah's Tariff. I just find it funny. Both guys are going to come out to the same song. Yeah. His brother would be a template in KOC 2. Yeah, and he would be a template also. Yeah. Kind of a sad world. And he leapfrogs over the ropes. Yeah, how Sorry, well is that going to do? I'm going to focus on building up my roster. All right, wait, wait. Okay, we I'll, go. We got, I'll, we I'll pretend to exist or something. Rasta, 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 Rasta. Here he comes! Rasta's favorite wrestler! He wants him to be the, Z the World Japan World Champion. Asinine. Asinine, man. <laughs> you know, of course, I was actually thinking about something uh, earlier in the week, right? You know that 2013 save that's up on GameFAQs? Yeah. You know, we were talking about maybe we would try to get like Kurt Angle or AJ and, you know, they're on that save. Yeah. I was thinking we could use, I use that trade mode where you, we could actually like I could maybe add those guys in and we'll do a supplementary a supplementary draft and we could add those guys to the rosters like a select couple. Yeah, because if I recall, you got like ninety people in the save. Because I could just erase the uh, the MMA fighters we're not using in our in that save in our draft save. Yeah, well, that would basically just be a Kira Maeda. Nah, it's more than just Maeda. Well, I mean, like, the one that for that one save we have. Yeah. <laughs> Giant uh, I can't wait for the announcer to say, This fucking asshole again! <laughs> right, He's go. already had two matches! Big Nog! Giant Silva, let's go! The man who beat Bob Sapp, can he beat Giant Silva? And we all know Noki is somewhere getting his jollies off at the side of this. <laughs> yeah, just rubbing the bombayes there. I mean, come to think of it, just imagine if this match were to have really happened in 2002 or 2003. Well, I mean, That's definitely when, an oddity fight. I mean, they could have done it when Silva was in pride. Oh yeah, most definitely. Oh, but Silva would have gotten his ass handed to him. You he was think? not a good... What was his fighting background? Basketball? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, it probably I was be just joking. Oh, no. It probably oh. wouldn't be as uh, competitive as uh, him versus... As Nogueira versus Sav. Uh, Nogueira Sav. That was actually, like, Sav's best fight ever. This, though... Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like, can you imagine seeing a Bob Sapp that cared against Kimbo Slice? Oh, uh, no, that would have been a nightmare. That, uh, that, you know what that is? That That's money. That's money on the table. Oh, well, yeah, it would have been money. It would have been money in Japan. It would have been a nightmare for pay-per-view here in the States. I like Kimbo Slice. He's one of my favorite MMA fighters. <laughs> I mean, I can understand that. A lot of people love uh, Kimbo Slice, too. <laughs> but still, though, this, if this fight were to have happened back in 2002 or 2003, yeah, the ratings in Brazil and Japan would have been through the roof. But again, the U.S. would have probably seen it as another oddity. Which it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, Garrett dazed him with that punch. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe no, Gara can crack the code. <laughs> yeah, save us Y2J. Oh, okay. Who's that supposed to be? You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Break the big dog down. Break down the big dog. 
Well, he's already breaking them down already. He's getting ready for Christmas again. Breaking the <laughs> eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Chris, you follow any of the college football recently? Yeah, I have. What? Did you see some of those crazy bowl games like JM told you about Tulane and USC a couple days ago? Mm-hmm. That was, uh, I couldn't believe it when he told me that. Oh, yeah. They base. I mean, it's like these ball games are just crazy. Like, for instance, last weekend when Georgia beat Ohio State, it was right as the ball was dropping in New York. <laughs> That's one way to start 2023. Ohio State missing a kick. Yes. <laughs> oh, by the way, about that. Pat Mack was actually there calling the game. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is... That 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 counter that he did, though, that was actually that was actually fresh. Yeah. yeah. But, but Pat Mack... He, he was just straight up drowned in the ball. Yeah. Then. Pat Mack, he was at the game. Oh. Yes, he was, he was calling the game. He doesn't work for WWE anymore. He, he works... Actually... With, like, he works for WWE on a freelance basis. But Pat McAfee was calling the game, and then what? And as, as he was calling the game, reacting to the kick getting shanked, shanked he actually caught the football with one hand. <laughs> wow, that's cool. And I bet he was screaming Happy New Year while that happened. He better be. That's oh, funny. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Ooh. Oh God! What a, what a counter! The rampage lamb. Otherwise, otherwise known as getting Ricardo Arona. Yep. Oh snap! Oh, uh, the fucking rear naked choke, but he's too close to the ropes. Oh no, Nogueira's cast. <laughs> so it's Silva. If. If you look up the definition of stupid in the MMA dictionary, you you find footage of Ricardo Arona getting dropped on his damn spine. Yep. Yo, so you know what's funny? Yeah, you, know, you, you guys need to see the Napoleon Beta parts. Uh, like I'll think about part two of the Ultimate Fighter, where he talks about like season eight. Hmm. All right. Oh, I just remembered. Uh, back to that college game, Georgia TCU. Who does everyone got for that game? Uh, I'm going with Georgia because how the hell did TCU wind up in a national championship? Michigan fumbled the ball at the worst possible time, again. <laughs> Michigan. My, my yeah, there's no way TCU's beating the top SEC team. My big no one way. fumbled the bag again. Come on. Oh my god. It this match just keeps going. We fumbled hmm. the bag at, at the eleventh hour again. Oh no. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Oh, no, god. not oh, off the top god. row. Oh, he's done. And now what's he got next? Hammer punch kill Rick. <laughs> but yeah, I have but... dodged your move, so I accept the double axe handle. <laughs> wow. As far oh. as that national title game goes, even though there is a campaign from that local furniture oh, guy. this is BS. Uh, Spear by Giant Silva. Cover. That could be it. One, two, yeah, it three. Is. No, anyway, you could not crack were, the code. You were, saying about, you were saying about the national championship game, Gary? Yeah. Even though the local furniture guy that loves to bet a lot, bet a lot on TCU winning, I got Georgia winning it because I don't think that TCU being the underdog, you know, could actually win that game. No chance. Aren't they like, aren't they like 100 point underdogs at this point? 100 points? <laughs> they if might we, be. Like, they might be 30 any, underdogs. Like a 30, that makes more sense, but 100. Like this isn't 1900 where you could get like a 200 to nothing game. Like that famous Georgia Tech Cumberland was like what two twenty six to right. nothing. Let's see. Oh, if... batting hat, welcome. No, but here's I the ultimate that. thing: Can Johnny Silva win a handicap like... match? I didn't oh actually, my gosh! Actually, think, I mean like points and points scored. Will, I meant... And here's who we will oh, use. Oh, that's what you mean. I meant 
we will man. use as far as Vegas giant Kamala. I see. Uh, Kamala and giant Bob. No, we will use and my man Abby. You know, giant Kamala and giant Baba fighting giant Silva. I mean, you're missing out on great booking opportunity. Think of the draw you can make. Yeah, the exactly. battle That's of the giant. That's why he's such a shit booker. He never listens to. Me. Oh snap! Can you believe oh, what he hear? Damn. Damn. damn! Shots fired over here. Why the shade, man? Oh, this, I, I told him the book freaking. I told him the book freaking giant Baba so he, so he can be a be a draw, but he book freaking hepatitis Abdul of the butcher. <laughs> wow. um, you realize that, that, you realize that, you realize that video Baba video. has difficulty beating Abdul uh, the butcher in a sim match, right? Been quiet there, Tiger Ali. For the last time, I'm not freaking Indian. <laughs> you are Tiger Ali. Yeah, you will like. It. <laughs> If you keep this up, you'll get a new name. We'll call you like, I, I don't know, Jeffrey or something. Look at how intense and into the match Kimala is. Even though he's the probably the guy that, that's gonna take the get the pin. I oh. know. The last time we saw Kimala, he got destroyed by Vader. So, All right, here we go. We don't talk about that. So, he got knocked out by a power bomb. <laughs> 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 member member of the legendary uh, misfits in action. Wait, wait, what's, what were they called again? Oh yeah, uh, member yeah. of the legendary oddity stable. Complete with ICP. <laughs> yep. Exactly. ICP ring gear since he's wearing black and yellow, uh, black and uh, white. You know, you know what's yeah. Shame? The fact that uh, Giant Silva oh, was in WrestleMania 2000. Wait, wait, he was. No, he wasn't. The oddities were oh, in WrestleMania 2000. They made the cut. If I recall, the gold gum mask was in WWF Attitude as an unlocked. If I recall, Tiger, Tiger and... Ali got cut. Got cut from two games. Oh yeah, yeah Attitude yeah, freaking sucks. Oh. He, got from, he got cut from WrestleMania 2000 and just playing it. Well, well, the man. Just Bring It makes sense. That was probably like the most over he ever was, but even then it wasn't. Oh. And, um, Goldust was going to be in WrestleMania 2000, but he got cut and they replaced him with Chris Jericho. I thought... Okay. Of course, yeah, of course WrestleMania and Hart just got is... cut in general for obvious reasons. For me, WrestleMania 2000 is most memorable for having the, the very legendary, obviously, not joking, Attack uh, team of draws and uh, Prince Albert. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people remember WrestleMania 2000 for having the blue meanie in it. Oh yeah. Well, I mean that default face blue meanie has. I mean. No, no, the no, the the music, his taunts, the fat dance. Memorable. Oh, oh yeah, his yeah, attire yeah. where it's just a little <laughs> tiny shirt on a big beer gut or whatever he has. He has the freaking job squad attire. <laughs> yeah. Book him, book him to win the WWF title with that job, job squad shirt. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame I don't have Matt Jafari. He's going to be the ultimate dream match. Matt Jafari with you... Jai Kamala. The battle of the slapping bellies. It's Special cool. guest referee, oh, yeah. Fat Bastard. <laughs> which, which, one has the, which one has the sexier slapping belly? Um, that's your preference. Do you like Iranian? Beer stomach or Ugandan beer stomach? Nah, Ugandan beer stomach. I thought Matt Gafari was American. Well, he was born in Tehran. His family moved during the big uh, revolution that happened in the 70s where the Ayatollah took over. Became an American citizen in New Jersey. Unfortunate, I know. I mean, of all the places <laughs> to live, New Jersey's not one of them. <laughs> Even JM can vouch for me on that, isn't that right, JM? Yeah, bro. Matt Jafari be appearing in your dreams. Oh wait, wait, wait. Here goes Abby. Here goes Abby. Uh, Abby. Think... He's ready to stab it. Giant silver. He's gonna put Speaking a fork of in Matt Jafari, I'm about to wait, watch him fight. You, how could you make a guy who's called whose last name is Silva bleed? He might drop silver, but not blood. Oh, simple uh, uh, werewolf or something. Um, but uh, 
Yeah, that, that's Matt Jafari's whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Someone mentioned Matt Jafari. I'm about to watch Matt Jafari fight Dabakato. I, I just realized that giant Kamala's hope, that giant Kamala's hope, hope is, and all Japan was that Kama, Kamala didn't like that Abdullah was, Abdullah had, that he had to pay Abdullah more money just because he was under him. So they literally just, you know what, let's just give this random fat guy the, the Kamala gimmick and let's just get it over with. Yeah, they did. I legit thought they were gonna go for the double tiger driver thing. <laughs> a double tiger driver? Holy shit! Does that even exist? Yeah, it does. Mike, Ma I think Don it was either Donovan Morgan or Mike Modest who um received the move. Uh, freaking no, Misawa Ogawa, Misawa. Yeah, I, I was the one that I was the one. He was the one who he was the one who got hit by it. I see. Uh. They're like, we have found the move. We have found the move to put down that damn Mitsuhara Misawa. <laughs> <laughs> the move to put Misawa Misawa down for always a burning hammer. <laughs> Mike Modest and Donovan. I could Mike go Modest. really dark, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Mike okay. Modest and Donovan Morgan. Oh, no. For Koji. I know what they're thinking. Wait, wait, yeah, I Mike know. Modest and Donovan Morgan for co-GHC heavyweight champions. Uh, I, no. no a tag won't. team holding a singles belt? Anything can happen in wrestling, Gavin. Well, I suppose, well, actually, I mean... Um, they, they, were, they won a heavyweight and junior tag, tag scenes at the same time for some reason. Probably because they needed competition. Frickin' Mike Modest was considered as being, uh... Uh, like the main guy Jin of Noah after Vader left for a second. No, he wasn't. No, like for a second he was like uh, a possibility, but then Bison Smith came along. Oh yeah, he did came along. I actually can make Bison Smith in chaos in this game. Yeah. Yeah, but there isn't really a template, so we have to legit find every movie did by looking on the internet and see what movie exactly he did in those matches. The, the good or you way. could just, uh, you know, just joke around and just make the move set all off the top of your head. Is that, yep, this is totally his move. Does a 450 splash. Yep, that's totally what a 270 pound former American <laughs> linebacker used to do. Totally. Nah, man, this this guy did a better Hurricane one than Tenzon ever did, so. Oh, my God. It's, it's like all of those other moves, like when you could, in the SmackDown games, you'd steal a finisher as Big Show, and you'd do the worm on Scotty Tahati. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Show the, using the burning hammer. Big Show doing the 619, that was a great one. Especially the first SmackDown versus Raw game when you unlock Andre the Giant. Oh, my God. <laughs> Freaking, uh, wait, wait. Uh, you can have Andre the Giant go doing Chuck Palumbo's finishing move. I'm trying to remember who, what did Chuck Palumbo do. <laughs> Be in All Japan for a cup of coffee in ROD. Uh, voodoo Murders, Voodoo Murders. Uh, okay, hey, that's remember, a weird wait, finisher. Wait, wait, wait. Remember, oh, wait, I got Big it. Andre the Giant doing the wiggle. <laughs> what, what wiggle? The what wiggle is like one of the world. most inappropriate wrestling moves ever. Oh yeah, by um, that one guy, that one black guy. Norman Smiley. Oh, yeah, Norman Smiley. Oh, yeah, he no. was actually a very good wrestler, and then when he went to WCW, being a technical wrestler, a didn't go wrestler. Yeah, Norman but if he Smiley didn't... Uh, guys, like Carl God. guys, guys I, got to, I wanted to say something. Oh, all right. Remember that thing when we used to, when that Wrestle Kingdom stream, uh, stream where we talked about like the themes that they gave for cha Japanese wrestlers and TNA? I didn't. Oh. Guess what? I watched a WCW. I think it was like some WCW 95, 1995 pay per views. There was okay. like a a Joshi match, like JWP versus uh, AJW match. Uh, and guess what? They gave the, the, them the theme music. Orient they Express they gave them the freaking racist Ching Chong music again. Oh gosh. Every single day, wherever you go, there's gonna be... <laughs> Ali, wherever you go, Orient Express theme will haunt you. Freaking ra racist Ching Chong themes all around, even in WCW. I mean, I mean this is... 
Didn't they do that for more notably you should oh, he missed. Tiger and the of course Christmas. he missed. Maybe if I recall again. Great Sasuke, he got to keep his own theme song in WWF, but Liger, they had like some uh, public domain song that sounded Japanese, but it wasn't the Ching Chong I mean, that Ollie's talking about. His theme song. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> in TNA, they gave Jushin Liger his theme song, but like in the match, he freaking uh, he needed Hiroki Goto to low blow PD Williams for Liger to win. Mm. And, and, and Liger flipped off the finally, thing. Wow. finally, Jesus Christ, man, Jesus! Freaking uh, Kamala beat Giant Silva. How? Hey, if y'all can excuse me, I'm about to get on another call. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, have All a good right. night, man. So who's next? Well, I guess you got that. Okay, that was four opponents, right? That was. I think he fell asleep. That was clear. Okay, I heard it's a snoring sound. Oh, was so bad he slept for like two seconds. Okay, so that was four opponents, right? That was Yes, and we will do one more. And then and then we'll do your request. Alright. Who is it All gonna right, be so against? The main event of the challenge run. It will be J J U Double G's favorite favorite person in the whole world wide world. If I can get you. Here we go. It will be... Fujita-san? Yes. I knew it. Oh, my. It'll no, he's up. Person, he's up. It will be the person That's, who That's uh, Mishiyoshi Ohara, I think. It will be the person who can't keep getting away with this. Who? Oh, my God. Yasuda as a freelancer? That's impossible. Nah, he was freelancer around this time. Yeah, they basically mm -hmm. said fuck you to him. And they, that, look, around the time former though. IWGP. Look, look, look. Yasuda who competed in New Japan throughout the '90s. Former IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Freaking three fire uh, power balls. While Tana, Hiroshi Tanahashi, who barely did anything around this time except like beat Scott Hall. Freaking four power balls. <laughs> All right, here he comes. It's Kaju Yuki Fujita. Wait, 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 what? Well, I'm, I'm coming, back. I'm coming, I'm coming. And better than ever. Oof. You're gonna have a tough time against Silva, though, but if anyone can do it, it's Mr. Knees of Titanium. Uh -huh. I like to see some other people who can beat him. Some of them involve plane rides with no I'm survivors. So I am so confused. Bane from the Dark Knight Rises will be Jai Silva. I, I think it you haven't watched my movie, Ari. You know I have to kill you now. No, I did, and it's mid. That really means I have to kill you. How dare you? I was made by power. Molded by pure power. Bro, you're like, you're freaking acting. Nah, Bane, you acted like you were the main bad guy only to get punked out in the end. That's Talia. my role. I was paid to do that. Why would you be so upset? Now oh, get over here. I have to choke slam you through a prop floor. Simming <laughs> 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 MMA. I will break the Tiger Ali.
No streamers for Fujita, that means he's bad. The main event of the Silver Destruction Tour. Bro, man lost in the freaking set of, like, the match before this. What do you mean, destruction? Well, you should have seen what he was doing earlier. What was he doing earlier then? Squashing people. Like, super probably squashing. like, probably Jabroni's like Kobashi or something. Oh my gosh. Remember <laughs> when Fujita fought Giant Baba and beat him in eight seconds with the finger poke? And then all of the All Japan guys were celebrating, and then Goldberg tried to save it. Yeah, they called that the finger poke of Budokan. But which like, Goldberg, the one with hair him. or the one without hair? Because this is a universe that uh, is clearly yeah, this was oh, man. oh, is he just going to get dropped out? Oh, is he going to get dropped out like he did in Jerome? Well, oh, we'll find out. Uh, this was the Goldberg who had flowing hair like Fabio in those romance novel covers. Yeah, definitely universe we, we didn't call him Fabberg. Fabberg? Because he, he was fabulous. <laughs> Does that mean that he was an even shittier wrestler back then? Oh no, he was actually pretty decent. How is decent? A, uh, like a 7 out of 10. Alright, so far Fujita's been able to keep his own so far. Here against, uh, Definitely. Yeah, because Scoop was that. a complete idiot trying to freaking send him to the ropes. Yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, but one Silva starts... Oh. Oh my god. Oh, there's a version where like he does that and then drops them on, his, on their head. In KOC one. Is there a version? Did you see that version? Yeah, I did. When I simmed uh, Fujita versus Sasaki, it was like the most brutal match I've ever uh, like played. Dang. <laughs> Our boy Fujita won though, so that's uh, so automatically five stars. Oh yeah, speaking of stars, Yo Osprey now has the same stars as Misawa. I was just gonna talk about that. That made me honestly depressed. It violates my ears and eyes. Well, you gotta remember, as this, it was harder to get a five-star match in the '90s and 2000s than it is in the, the oh God, 2010s. Why are, we, why, are we, why are we keep having this conversation over and over again? I don't know, probably because Freaking people keep talking about it. You know, like saying took the cookies like, from honestly, the cookie jar. Meanwhile, you honest. keep asking you, JM, you say couldn't be. And then I reply with, then who? But you hang up the call on me every time. <laughs> honestly, like, Osprey has never really actually had, like, some a five-star match. In my oh, he's like, had a few, I will say that, but... Like, he had a, a few amazing matches, but they all, like, have similar flaws. So, that's what, like keeps me from like I, I think Osprey's amazing but he's not Misawa levels of good like Misawa's leagues above him in every way even the because... most important card in wrestling and I think you know what I'm saying oh, what, no, what do you no, mean oh, oh god what's dizzy the it and factor the... one is dizzy what? and the other the is tired it factor dick factor oh, what it 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 uh, it factor. There's the knees of death. Oh, the knees of death are going to ruin you. What's the Fujita's actually hitting him in like the shoulders with those knees, not the freaking head. Oh my God, that's right. Uh, Fujita did come out dressed as a. Uh, he Damn. does have a uh, <laughs> vintage Fujita. Where is this Fujita in Noah? He's wherever he needs to be. I don't I know, I like, I like, I kinda like what you didn't know what, to be honest. Cause he's goofy. Oh, oh god, okay, okay. How, how, how long do you think it is until, until Silva taps out? Eventually! My father, my father, Antonio Inoki, taught me how to use these hands. Jesus Christ, he's taking so much knees! <laughs> this man eating knees for breakfast hey, and dinner. Stuff. Jesus Christ, he's wasted two pounds oh, already. Just you jump your feet, you fucking lummox, you motherfucker! Just die already! Just jump your feet! Cornus, you uh... Cornus, you fucking sound raining. like Bane, uh, like Iron Sheet version of Bane. Oh my god, here comes... <laughs> oh shit! 
Ouchies! You sound like freaking Iron Sheik version of Bane, like Iranian version. I'm not even gonna lie. Iron Bane number one number one ten on gold medal is beaten out Dark Knight in... <laughs> What? 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 I love it! Got, got Metropolis number one! Gotham <laughs> City Hakui! He spent literally 80 knees for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, and seriously, brunch. I, like, if people talk about how thick the skull of Fujita is, I think Giant Silva is giving him a run for his money, because a normal no, man... He's not even hitting him in the skull, he's just oh, hitting him in the shoulders with those knees. Look, look at that. Not only is he kneeing him, there you go, but as I was saying, like, with all of those to the head, like, a they're normal man... Let, let, me finish, Ali, let, me finish, let me finish, Ali. Let me finish, Let me finish. Let me finish the sentence, Ali. And then you can criticize the sentence, because it sounds oh, wait, something wait, wait, funny. Look at, look at the straight <laughs> All right, then. Do it. It's like those, like, toy dolls, where when you kind of bump into them, there's, like, a big dent in them, but you can fix it by, you know, like, the Barbie dolls and whatnot, or G.I. Joe. Big dents in them when you put force into it. That's what a normal man would feel like after those knees from Fujita. Meanwhile, True. Silva... He has not made a dent. He's somehow not concussed. There Maybe are several scientists inside. writing down notes and wondering if he'll ever get CTE. His, his bastard bones must be like coated in adamantium like Wolverine or some shit. No, it's Jesus. Silvamantium. Oh god, oh god, he's going for it again. Silva, dude. His name is freaking... He's making a comeback though. He's making the oh, comeback. He keeps, the he keeps countering them. Oh, but he, but he ate like minutes of knees. That was insane. <laughs> oh, he dribbled, he dribbled, oh, he's he fumbling. Dude, freaking passed away with those freaking punches. It's over. Oh wait, what? Man, oh, he man, didn't even touch the rope. No, man, no, no. The referee, the referee said he could predict the future. Why, why, is, this grab him. why, why is this idiot like? Why is this idiot freaking like Irish tripping oh, Vegeta that, that never worked? Oh, oh my god, it's going for the, 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 the fucking knees. Finally! Jesus Christ! <laughs> got the hint and tapped out. No, but nothing is over until and I say it's over, and it was over when I thought it was over. The defeat Giant Silva was none other than the demon of pro wrestling Noah. That no good scum, Katsuyuki Fujita. <laughs> Jay, I'm stuck lying. You know, we all know you love Fujita deep inside. No, that's JM. JM. That's you, as you, as, as you whisper sweet nothings in Jug's ear about Kazuki Fujita. <laughs> Damn, a, a frontliner of Enochism reigns supreme. All right, Again. So Please what we learned is... is... Wait, right. uh, what we learned is that Silva has some really freaking strong shoulders. Like, anyone who got hit with... Like, because... And the animation, you don't really see Fujita hitting his head. You just see him hitting the shoulders of... Uh, Okay. Right. So that is so all the time what we have for the giant Silva destruction room. I thought we were done. More, more, more like getting dropped out. Sent on YouTube.